All right, guys, so this page is going to be kind of, you're going to be doing a little bit of ounces and pounds, a little bit of kilograms and grams, so you're going to need to remember what we learned the last few days, okay? All right, let's look at the top. I don't want to help you too much here because I want to see what you remember. So it says, choose the unit you would use to measure. Your choices are ounce or pound. So over here, I want you to write to remember that ounce is smaller than a pound, just so that you remember. And I think you're probably pretty good at ounces and pounds. And then for the next section, your choices are gram or kilogram. And we know that gram is smaller than kilogram. Okay, and you can probably remember some of the, the comparison, the, the things that I said to remember, right? Remember we talked about the gram was like a paper clip and the kilogram was like a pair of men's shoes, okay? Down here, you're doing the same thing we've been doing, but picking the correct one. So how much do you think a pillow would weigh? Would a pillow weigh eight ounces or eight pounds? Okay, you do that with this section. On the next section, it says you don't need to do the drawing because you can also just write a math problem. Let's do one of those together. Steve bought 24 ounces of his favorite cereal. He put equal amounts of cereal in four containers. So he's dividing it into four containers. How many ounces did he put in each container? Okay, so he starts with 24, but he's dividing. Okay, because he's putting it in the different containers. So my equation would be 24 divided by 4 will tell me how many ounces are going in each container. Okay, you'll have to solve. Remember on these, they can always be plus, minus, times, or divide. All right, let's look at number 12. Beth bought a bag filled with 340 grams of pasta. She used 250. How many grams are left? Okay, if we know she's starting with 340 and she's using or taking away 250, then you'll need to solve to see how many grams she has left. Okay, and you'll do number 13 and 14 on your own. And if you wanna to pause to finish this side and then meet me on the back side. All right, remember when we are on the remembering side, this is review for you. So it's things that we've done during the year that you should be able to do or remember on your own. Okay, let's look at number one. Chen has $8. She earns some more money babysitting. Now she has 17. How much did she earn? Okay, so I need to look at She's got 17 right now. She started with eight, so I need to figure out the difference. So when I figure out the difference, I need to subtract. So you can write your equation on the line. $17, take away $8 to equal what she earned for babysitting. Okay, and remember on that one that the dollar sign is your label, okay? I'm gonna let you do number two on your own when you get down to comparing fractions. Remember, if the bottom number is the same, like on number seven and number four, then I only need to look at the top number to see which is the bigger fraction, okay? So if the bottom number is the same, look at the top number. So if I look at one over eight and seven over eight, is one or seven bigger, okay? But when you have different bottom numbers like you do on three, six, five, and eight, then you need to cross multiply to figure out, okay? So I need to say two times one is two. And then I go the other way. Four times one is four, okay? So whatever number is bigger, okay? So I know that four is bigger than two. So that means that my greater than sign is going to go like that. So you go across, you don't have to put an X through there because then you don't have room for your sign. But you guys know now that you just go across, right? If I wrote it out like this, okay, 
you could go this and this, but then you don't have room to do your sign, but you could also write your sign down below like that if you want to do the X, okay? All right, stretch your thinking is extra credit, and then homework would be these two as well, okay? All right, have an amazing day, guys.